Now, the next thing we need to do is to copy and monitor the grid information from the architectural model into our own model. But first, we need to turn off the grid information from the structural model because you see the structural grid and the architectural grid. So we need to make sure that uh, the grid information is carried over from the architectural model and not partially from the structural model. So before we do that, we want to turn off all the grid lines in this view from the structural model. So we go to uh, the property of the view and then select visibility graphic overwrite right, and click on the edit button or you can type VV or VG from your keyboard to turn on the visibility graphic override right dialog box. Now I'm going to click on the Revit link tab and then from the structural model I'm going to click on this display setting button by host view currently that's what it is right now click on this and I'm going to click on the radio button change that to custom and I'm going to go to the annotation category and in the drop down change it to custom then these items will be accessible otherwise they'll be grayed out so I'm going to sc scroll down with the button here and look for grids and just untoggle this so I can apply and then select OK. And then select OK to close the visibility graphic override dialog box. You can see that the grid line from the structural model is turned off. Now all I got is the grid line from the architectural model. Now uh, to identify these grid lines from the architectural model, you can actually put your mouse over the grid line and tap. And you can see that in the Tooltips is identify that Revit link, link Revit model is school architectural RVT. So this is from the architectural model. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Now I'm going to go to the collaborate tab and then select copy monitor. And I'm going to select the select link option. And I'm going to pick on the link. And then the ribbon will change to this uh, contact sensitive mode. And I'm going to select copy to copy uh, monitor the grids from the architectural model. So I'm going to click on each, each grid line. You can see that uh, it's processing the information. You can see that once it's finished, it will have a little symbol in here like a, a heartbeat monitor indicating that this item is being monitored by the system. So if the architecture model uh, changes uh, and the location of the grid line changes based on a new version of an, arch of an architecture model, you will get a notification from the program that it has been moved. So I'm going to keep continuing by selecting the other grid lines. Now we select all the grid lines. Now we can turn off the grid lines from the architecture model. So again, before we do that, we should click on finish. And now if we pick up one of the grid lines, we can turn the grid line heads on this side. Now we're gonna turn off the grid line from the architecture model. We're gonna to go to visibility graphic override dialog box again by clicking the button here. And from Revit Link, this time we're going to do it from the school architectural model. Click on by host view to change it to custom. And then from annotation category, change the, that setting to custom as well. And then scroll down to grids and untoggle these items and select apply. And then select OK. 
and say like, okay again. Now we can pick on these grids. They are actually uh, reside in our current model right now. So we can toggle on all the grid heads on this end here. And then we can actually turn off the grid bubble on this end and turn it on from this end. And we may even need we may even want to uh, bring the grid line a little bit closer to the flat view. 